Hey guys, back with another quick tip tutorial here, and this time on creating rocks, right? Both stylistic and realistic rocks, right? And we're gonna get right into it, okay? And I'm just gonna have a cube out. You can actually have anything out, and it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna go down to initialize, and then click on the X, Y, and Z resolution, okay? All to 20, and then I'm gonna click on that Q cube. I'm just gonna hold W and scale it out, and I'm just gonna dynamesh this, right? So. Again, it doesn't really matter the shape that you have. It could be a cube, it could be a cylinder, not really too important. I'm choosing a cube for demonstration purposes, and I'm just gonna make sure to dynamesh this, right? Dynamesh is under geometry and dynamesh. And just to get our sides, our polygon account up to maybe about a million or so. Next, I'm gonna press B, C, C, which is a clip curve. That's our clip curve brush, right? And that's gonna help us to sort of make these rocks. And if you hold on Control and Shift and click and drag, it will clip an area. And just to show you what the clip actually does, if I do it here on this side, and if I press Shift F, you'll notice that these sides are actually being pushed in, right? They're not actually being retopologized. It's almost like it's squashing it as per what you've showed. But if you press BTU, which is the trim curve brush, right? This one right here. And again, you hold Shift and Control. You'll notice the same thing happens, but if I press Shift F, it's retopologized, right? That's the difference between the trim curve and the clip curve. Another difference, um, is if I double tap Alt and then move it, to, you know, just to get a little bit of a curve there, you'll notice that one angle, it gives us a curve instead of an angle. That's because it reads apologized and that's not really what we want. So I'm going to go back to the clip curve with BCC, just clip some edges here, and then I'm going to go to BTD, which is the trim dynamic. Again, I'm just showing you how to sort of make these areas, nothing too crazy here yet. And I'm just going to go to this corner and then just kind of trim that down, okay? But you can see, unlike with the clip curve, it's a little bit messy, right? If you look at these, uh, if you look at these corners here, they're a little, uh, you know, they're okay, right? It's not really what we want with a rock, because rocks have really hard edges. So what I'm going to do is press the comma key, okay, which brings up our light box. I'm going to go to brush, and then trim brush, okay? These are all our extra trim brushes. And when I'm going to trim normal, right, that's the one right there, trim normal. I'm going to click, hover for a second, and then um, rotate the brush, or just uh, brush the brush, I guess. Right, and that will just give us a nice clean edge there. And what it's doing is it's taking the normals, right? You see that yellow dot, and then I go over here, and then I drag again. It's taking the normals of that plane and then reusing them. What normals are, and if I hold on the all button, you can see this time it's actually pushing out. So the normals are just where the plane is facing. So if the plane is facing up or down, that's what it takes. So again, I'm going to use that brush. I'm going to sample this side, and then I'm going to hold down Alt and then drag. So click, hold down Alt, and then drag, okay? So that's all, that's how this brush works. That's not an important brush, I just wanna show you what normals are, right? Normals are just where the plane is facing. That's gonna come into use a little bit later on. Okay, but for now, I just have clipped a few more edges here. You don't need to see me do that, it's pretty simple. Uh, I'm just gonna clip some more edges actually, right, just to kinda show you what I'm doing here. And again, we're, we're trying to create a stylistic rock at first, and I'll show you how to create a realistic one a little bit after this. But I'm just gonna show you the sort of the techniques rather right and next I'm going to use this uh, brush called the orb crack brush this brush does not come with a Z brush it's a custom brush and I'm going to leave a link down in the description it's not my brush so it's someone else's and I'll just sort of leave that link there so you guys can get that and I'm just going to create this uh, sort of crack or scratch here on the brush or on the rock rather and I'm just going to mask out this area with control and then drag I'm going to invert that mask by control clicking out and I'm going to use our clip curve again right and this is where our clip curve comes in handy right here. So I'm just going to drag, double tap, alt, double tap, alt, so we get a clean corner there, and then double tap, alt again. If we do that, you see we've got a nice clean edge here, right? That's very sharp, so later on we can just redynamesh and then smooth that out. But again, I'm going to do the same thing on the side here, on the bottom rather. And that way we've got a little bit of a, you know, sort of an edge here for this rock face. And the thing with stylistic rocks, or anything stylistic, is you want to keep it very simple. So don't go too crazy. And I've just done it on the other side there. So same thing. I'm just going to re that, and I'm just going to smooth it out with the, shift button, with the shift button. Okay, just so it's not so sharp. Okay, and that's pretty much it. I mean, you, run, you don't want to go too crazy with these rocks, right? That's like as far as you want to go. You might want to change the shape a little bit. But next, what I want to do is go down to Morph Target and store that Morph Target. I also want to make sure that Dynamesh is off. Okay? And here's another way to create these cracks. I'm just going to go with the same thing, the orb crack brush, which is BO. Okay. Just creating a little bit of that. And then I'm going to go to my uh, morph target brush, right, which is BMG. So B, M, and G. This is one right here. And, it, and I, now I can just morph this out, right. 
So just like I did with the other piece, this one's a little bit more tedious as you can imagine, but if you want to, if you just want to do a small piece or a custom piece, the morph brush is definitely going to work a little better than the clip curve. So this is definitely going to help you out as well. So that's sort of two ways to make those cracks there. And of course you can create a little bit more here and there, but again, don't go too crazy because the thing with stylistic stuff is that you want to keep it simple, right? So again, just taking the normal trim brush and then here I'm going to take the Actually, I'm going to use the Trim Smooth Border, okay? So the Trim Smooth Border is like the Trim Normal Brush, but it's like on crack, right? It's like uh, the brush with uh, a lot of a lot of power, right? So it's very, 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 very um, damaging, actually. So you just have to be careful what you're doing. So you can see, you know, as I'm just going through here, it's just kind of really sculpting through everything here and just creating faces. So just be careful with this brush. We're going to be using this brush a little bit later on to create the realistic brushes, or the realistic rocks, rather. And you can just see here that if I take a face and just drag it down, right, you just have to be pretty gentle with it, right? Don't go too crazy with it. So you can just see, you know, just how sort of violent the brush is. It's sort of like the normal brush, but like I said, it's it's the um, the normal brush on crack, right? So again, it relies on your faces or your normals. So just like the normal brush, it relies on the normals. So where wherever your face is facing, right, or your plane is facing, rather, that's what it takes and that's what it uses. Okay, while we're showing off the trim brushes, let's go to trim holes, and you can just trim holes into uh, something, right? You don't need to do this with a trim hole brush, you can use your clay build up or your damn standard. Okay, make sure you store your morph target before you do this. Right, and then I'm going to go to BMG again, just to get our morph target brush, and then just morph these back out. Just to create like these little cracks and crevices, smaller pieces within the actual uh, rock, right? So I'll just fast forward through that. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Like I said, you want to get too complex with these um, with these rocks. Okay, and so what we're going to do next is just hold on the comma button uh, just to bring up our light box. And then under the light box, you can see under brushes, we've got the, the trim brush, right? And these are extra brushes again. And I'm not going to select the normal brush. I'm going to select the trim smooth border brush, okay? So what I'm going to do is make sure we've got our trim smooth brush, right? So instead of our normal brush, we're using our trim smooth. We're sort of sampling this plane here and then moving it up and then just drawing. So this way, it kind of looks like you've got these rock crevices that kind of pop out of the rock there. You can just see me moving the brush up and then detailing and then moving it back up again and detailing. And that's kind of a nice way as well, just to get these really quick details. So again, that was a trim smooth brush, or trim smooth border, and not the uh, trim normal brush. But again, they work very similarly. Um, they just use the planes or the normals, right, just to kind of sample something and then use it for the actual um, sculpting, right? So what I'm going to do is right click and I'm going to make sure we've got a trim smooth border and I'm going to go to alpha and then pick this alpha 28. This is a standard alpha that comes with the Z brush so you don't have to download it or anything. And this is basically we're just going to use our alt button and our normal sort of brush here and we're just going to dig in and then dig back out again. And that's kind of how you can create this realistic rock look, right? I'm just using the normals that I have there, or the, the planes, the faces, right? And just trying to create these like rocky areas here. This is kind of how you would create a realistic rock. We're going to create a full one a little bit later on. I'm going to show you that as well. But just to kind of get the general sort of look, right? This is what you can do. And then of course you can bring out your orb crack, right? Make sure you store your, see I forgot there, store your morph target and then use your orb crack brush. Right, and then you can use your morph target just to morph those back out. So this is just the general sort of uh, what you would do to create rocks, right? So I've showed you the stylistic version and this is now the, we're getting into the real one. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. So here I have um, a shape that I just clipped. We're gonna use the trim smooth border again. And you can see I'm just using the faces, right? And you, you saw at first what I did was I kind of went to a corner and trimmed it just so I could get that um, that angle on that, right? And yeah, I'm just going to use Dynamesh as well, just trimming out these areas. And I want this rock to be relatively sort of straight, right, on edges, not too many curves. Well, also you don't want curves on a rock, right? So I'm just trying to keep with these edges here, just using a combination of the old button and just the normal, the normal brush, right? And then Dynameshing from time to time. Again, trying to get these angles. And then all I'm doing is pressing W and then holding down control and duplicating this. And again, just pushing in and then holding Alt to pull out. 
Okay, just going through it here, seeing what I like. And so what I do here is I actually flip it around and I see I actually like this face here. So I'm just going to detail it a little bit more. Right, and I'm just going to hold down Control and then click and drag just to duplicate that. And then duplicate it again, and bring this one forward maybe. And now you can see these are clearly duplications of one another. So I'm just going to try and uh, push that out, right, just to make sure that it's kind of the same but not, you know, an exact copy. Right, and now we have something like this. So you can already see that's a pretty good look. And of course, there are some errors that are unfinished and they look a little bit weird. And here I'm just using an angle on the opposite side and just trying to create like a, uh, a diagonal look to this, right? So you can see I'm going from left to right, you know, from up and down, uh, bottom left to top right, right? And that is pretty much it, actually. That's, yeah, that's how you use the Trim Smooth Border Brush just to create these rocky edges here. And of course, we would go in and clean it up. And again, we would use our Orb Crack Brush here as well right um, along with our trim or with our morph brush right but that is pretty much it there's nothing else to it of course you would want to use a reference i just freestyle this which is why some errors look a little bit weird right because i don't use any references here but you can clearly see that's a rock right or a rock face and that is pretty much it so yeah um i hope you guys found this useful and like it if you liked it dislike it if you didn't let me know what you guys thought in the comment section subscribe if you really like my content and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one